hello guys welcome back to my channel this is joshua matthew if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer like this using adobe photoshop with any further i do let's get started go to your file then select new then i'm going to use 1080 by 1080 for social media post then leave your resolution at 300 and rgb color for social media because this is not for printing if you are to print it then ensure that you change the color mode to cmyk so for the fact that this is going to be on social media then i'm going to use rgb color then click create this is our working background now what i will do now i'm going to set up my background now then go to your resource file before then go to your test document then i'm going to copy this hands code ctrl plus c to copy then go to your solid color and i'm going to paste ctrl plus v to paste now you can go to your resource file then i'm going to import this texture background here then scale it out then this way now the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to blur it go to your filter select blur gaussian blur then i'm going to make use of 8.8 .8, then you click ok then go to your blending mode and change it to color dodge so this is color dodge then this is what i'm going to use here yeah. now the second thing i'm going to do then i'm going to my resource file again and now i'm going to import this background here then take it up over here then scale it out just a little then okay now apply your layer mask then select your brush or your gradient tool and blend over here something like this all right then after this one then i'm going to reduce the opacity to 98 i mean 89 then 89 then go to your blending mode and change it to lighting this one here okay then go back to your resource file then and import this golden cycle frame here and i will take it up around here and position it then click OK. All right. Then change it to screen. Something like this. I'm going to leave it like this. All right. Then apply your layer mask and select your brush. Then I'm going to clean over here. something like this then click ok to drop your move to all right then now that we have done this one so the next thing we are going to do now we are going to import our worship image then import it then position it over here click ok then change the bloody mode to soft light something like this okay then apply your layer mask then select your brush again and i'm going to clean over here 
then you can incre increase your opacity to 100% then clean over here all right then also then this image here this golden cycle then select your brush again and i'm going to clean over here something like this all right then having done this then the next thing i'm going to my resource file again and i'm going to import this texture here then i'll bring it down over here scale it out a bit all right move it to the top and i'm going to change the color mode to this color bond here this is color bond then apply your layer mask then select your gradient tool and you blend the top here and the bottom here then okay then you will see a sign of shape here then go to your rent angle and i'm going to draw a rent angle over here then you leave it the background color white okay so we are done with the background then the next thing i'm going to group all the background together ctrl plus g to group and i'm going to rename it as my background now we are going to copy our test now ctrl plus c to copy then go back to your resource file and i'm going to import this logo over here then position this one around the ear then i'm going to select this background here then i will take it up it's okay then position this one here then select your test tool ctrl plus v to paste then you click ok then reduce the size all right and here are the fonts i'm using so all the font is here i'm going to reduce it one more time something like this it's okay all right now the next i'm going to do now i'm going to bring this image here then reduce the size now bring it down all right then i'm going back to my test document and i'm going to copy this test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste increase the font size okay then go back to your test tool and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then select a test tool then ctrl plus v to paste and i'm going to change the fonts of this one to the jacqueline
can increase the size so you can position it anywhere you want if you like then you can position it somewhere around here then or somewhere around here so anyone you want then you make use of your choice then i'm going to copy this color code here ctrl plus c to copy then ctrl plus v to paste all right so now the next thing i'm going to apply test infect then go to your blending option then select bevel and emboss so i'm going to use inner bevel then smooth and the depth i'm going to use here is 188 then i'll leave the size at 7 so make use of this setting you are seeing here then go to your inner shadow and the opacity here is 35 then the distance is 4 and the size is 8 so you leave it a setting like this then after this one then you go to your drop shadow then the drop shadow here you can see i'm using a black background and my opacity is 100 percent the distance is three the spread is six and the size is four so this is what i use here all right then and this size here i'm going to increase the size from three to um 59 something like this so you can see there is a difference there okay let me see you can select three you will see how it will look and when i increase it to 59 you will see that the area will be black so this is what i want so you can make use of your own choice then i'll click ok then go to your service here and i'm going to apply a drop shadow to the service there then on this service then i'm going to make use of the black background and the opacity is 100 percent then and the the distance here is three and the spread here is six and the size i'm going to put three for the size then click ok then for the thanksgiving the spread there i'm going to change the spread to four okay then after this one now then what i'm going to do i'm going to select the two and i will increase it a little this way then you click ok all right so after this one so the next thing i'm going to do then i'm going back to the image here that is the pastor and i'm going to select the name here i'm going to copy ctrl plus c then select your rent angle and i will draw a rent angle over here then apply a corner shape something like this reduce the opacity just a little 69 is okay then i'm going to paste the test now ctrl plus v to paste then change the font and i'm going to use this mega mem demo font change the font color to black reduce the font size and i will position it over here
then I will make use of vertical and the horizontal alignment so that the test will fit in the rent angle shape here. Okay, then the other thing I'm going to do now, having done this one, then I'm going to group it, hold your shift key while you select it. Then the next one now, I'm going to import the date now. So copy this one, Ctrl plus C to copy, select your test tool, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the font to Bebas. Then increase the size. It's okay like this. Then go to your resource file and import your icon. Reduce the size and I will position it around here. Then Ctrl plus I to invert the column. Then go back to your test document to copy this one. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then I'm going to change the font to Jacqueline. Increase the font size. Then I'm going to copy this color code over here. Ctrl plus C to copy. Then and Ctrl plus V to paste oh sorry that is not the right color then you copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then go to the color the ctrl plus v to paste All right and i'm going to copy our test here again ctrl plus c then ctrl plus j to duplicate this one i will move it up over here Select your test tool, alight it, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then reduce the font size to your own desire. Then I'll position it around here. Then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it. Alight it, Ctrl plus A. Then go to your test document to copy, Ctrl plus V to paste. All right, then now I'm going to select the two tests Then you bring it down using your arrow key. It's okay like this. And I'm going to import this icon for time. Reduce the size. Ctrl plus I to invert the color or you press Ctrl plus U and change the background color to white. Then I'm going to duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then take it over here. Then I'll move it to the top. Now I will select the time, then group it. Then I'm going to copy this one, AM, Ctrl plus C to copy. Select a test tool. Then I will change this six to nine. Then Ctrl plus V to paste. And I will position this one around here. Something like this. Then go back to your test documents and I make a copy. Ctrl plus C. Then bring this one. Nice location icon. Reduce the size. Then select your test to Ctrl plus V to paste. Then change the background color to black. And I'm going to change the fonts to the font you are seeing here, Accelerate. Reduce the font size. It's alright. 
Now I'm going to group it together. Okay. Then for the time, I'm going to group it so you can rename them. So after this one now, then the last thing I'm going to do is to place this light flare here. Then reduce the size. Then I'll position this one around here. Then change the blending mode to screen. Then apply your layer mask. And I'm going to select my brush. And I will clean over this area something like this then i'll position it around here okay then duplicate it ctrl plus j to duplicate why i will take this one around here then ctrl plus j to duplicate it and I'll take this one up here. Something like this. Then I'm going back to my background. Then I'll select this cycle, golden cycle frame. Increase it then take it back like this something like this then and place my light here then i'm going to select this one by holding your shift key while you select then group it my time bring it down then increase the size a little so that is all we have come to an end of this tutorial thank you so much for following if you are not subscribed please just subscribe now and turn on the notification bell so that you will not miss any of my video and also to remind you that i have a link in the description so if you want to order or postage of any of my graphic design in fiverr then there is a link there or if you want to create any fiverr account then there is a link there to click register for your own fiverr account now and i use tubebody to optimize my youtube channel so if you want to optimize your youtube channel then kindly click on that link in the description to create your own tubebody account right away thank you so much for Following, I really appreciate all.